It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth. I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? <laughs> no. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. Mm. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. Letting anyone into the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. They're Pereldans, just like us, fleeing for their lives. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. Ugh, totally believable. Everybody doing okay? So long as we're all safe. That's more important. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Okay, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Um, Aveline friendship is for letting her decide what to do with Wesley. Um, yeah, last time we ran into Flemeth, we were fleeing some dark spawn from Lothering, and we came here, and now we gotta figure out how we're gonna get inside. This doesn't sound good. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. What is this place? I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be. Back in the Imperial days. They kept slaves here until the rebellion. Now the Templars run it, and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed, huh? They lock up mages? Are mages imprisoned here? Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. 
Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. Mm-hmm. What happens to us? Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. Knight Commander Meredith? That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted. But he's sure never taken that chance. Hmm. Okay, well. Who do I need to talk to? There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Okay, so I can get a certain amount. I want to see. We'll stop! I want to see what's, over. what's going on over here. Just having a friendly chat with a guardsman, okay. Let's walk around. What did. Okay. Thought I saw something. We'll stop. Well, you're at least part way in. Was Wesley based out of the Loader Enchantry? I don't remember ever seeing him there. He served elsewhere. He was coming to find me at Ostagar. Were you familiar with every Templar in Lothering? How else was I supposed to know when to run and hide? to do well I don't know yet <laughs> what are we going to do? there's our captain we're not animals you could just corral we've no intention we're all going back to where you came from my men and I fought against the blight we're heroes deserted it doesn't matter Kirkwall has no more room for anyone. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. The card told me differently. Um, you gotta be letting some people in. You wouldn't be out here if nobody could enter. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you for Reldon's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already. Trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden eventually. Until then, you stay here. Be reasonable. Our uncle is Gamlin Amel. He knows we're coming. Surely someone could find him. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! <sighs> That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! Not gonna work! Not gonna work! Good? 
Unbelievable. Yeah. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. I appreciate that. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not... Wait. I think someone's coming. Is that Gamlin? Leandra! Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband. Dead. I'd uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it. A drastic guide him. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. What? What? If I asked nicely, what about mother? I'm more concerned about mother. Can you get her in at least? No, we stay together. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the night commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt, I've been meaning to write you. What? Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Oh, this just gets better and better. <laughs> so we have nothing, is what you're saying. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. <laughs> sure. Sure. Can we go anywhere else? Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Let's go to another city. This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. Every city on the coast's been hip deep in Ferelden since the Blight. You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. No, we're not putting Mother through that. We'll find a way. Okay. Well... We can't stay here. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. <laughs> the best you could do? So, you're selling us into indentured servitude. That's your idea. Think of it as having a job waiting for you in your new home. A job that doesn't pay. Wonderful. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. Mm -hmm. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What about Bethany? What do you think about this, Bethany? We've come this far. I don't care who we work for. As long as it means we don't have to go back. Alright. Tell me about the mercenary. What kind of man is this Mirren? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? <laughs> I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. Alright. What about the smuggler? How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. 
She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that clarification. I will go talk to them then. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. All right. <sighs> okay. Um, you might have noticed they used the name Amel, and um, Amel is the surname of the human mage origin in Dragon Age Origins. So, um, this family is connected to that family. I'm gonna. Do I want to read this? Do I want to come back and read this? I'm gonna read it. <laughs> Statues of tortured slaves fill the gallows courtyard, a ghastly memento of Kirkwall's history. 1,500 years ago, Kirkwall was the Tevinter Imperium's largest quarry, feeding the construction of the Imperial Highway. The Imperium's hunger for expansion led to legions of slaves forced into working the quarry. When the Empire's construction phase ended, Kirkwall slid naturally into its new role as the capital of the slave trade, the gallows at its heart. The statues are not monuments to the suffering of slaves. Every inch and angle of the courtyard was designed by magisters bent on breaking the spirit of newcomers. Executions here took place daily, sometimes hourly, and corpses were hung from gibbets throughout the yard. New slaves trudging in from the docks saw what awaited them. When Our Lady turned her armies against the Imperium, the slaves of Kirkwall were vaulted and claimed the city for themselves. The gallows stood empty for 200 years, not to be reopened until the crowning of divine Justinia I. The gallows transformed the city again when the abandoned prison tower became the home of Kirkwall's circle. Brother Genesevi. So yeah, Kirkwall's got a beautiful history. <laughs> Can I talk to you? So that was your uncle, was it? Good. I thought he was another confidence man trying to sell promises. I don't suppose he has the coin you'll need to get in. He does not. He doesn't seem to have any more than we do. Ah, that's a shame. If it were just up to me, I'd let you through. But there are a lot of eyes watching, a lot of palms that need greasing. My suggestion? Wait for a ship and hope the next city hasn't already closed their doors. I find that difficult to have faith in. Okay, who do I want to talk to? First. I never thought I would find myself begging to be allowed back into Kirkwall. Remember, it's Mirren okay. or Athenral you're looking for. Here's Mirren. Mirren? And you must be Hawk. Nice. Really? Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. So, what do you do, exactly? I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Yeah, it does. Makes sense. <laughs> I never pictured myself as the mercenary type. Uh... So, you're paying a lot of coin. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red Iron gets paid pretty well? Not to mention your uncle said your sister's a mage. We're willing to pay for that. Great. Great. Apparently, Uncle Gamlin likes to talk. You stick with us. You'll be safe. For a year, at least. Mm. How do you know, Gamlin? My uncle doesn't seem like the sort to hang out with mercenaries. He doesn't. Gamlin cheated one of my men at a wallop match. You turn out, we'll call it even. 
Wow. I'm not sure that I like this. I'll find some other way into the city. Let me know how that works out for you. Let's go talk to what's her face. What's happening over here? Let's go this way. <laughs> Are you a Senra? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. He didn't say anything about me, did he? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, so you're a smuggler. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pods. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Yeah. We can't afford to be choosy. Yeah. Uh, so about the money that you're offering. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate service. Yep, then you were told to. Does everyone know about us? <sighs> if the circle hasn't descended upon you, my guess is no. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. Great. How do you know Gamlin? How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though... We'll consider things even. What has Gamlin been doing? I'll go with you. I like you better. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. Hmm. Sounds simple enough. Let me save. Alright. Sure, I don't mess this up. Oops, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I've already told you. I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron? Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? She didn't seem very happy. She didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? I'm sure they'd rather not sell what little they have left. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the profits help with the guilt. What kind of shop is this, anyway? I didn't think there'd be any stores here in the fortress. There are many merchants who come here right now who can't afford the bribes to enter the city. So the Templars suggested having someone set up shop, temporarily. <laughs> and I am the lucky man. Right. Right. You mean you paid your own bribes to be here? If they allowed everyone to set up shop, this place would turn into a bazaar. Sadly, there's only so much I can do for those Ferelden's poor sods. I'm sure you're very broken up over it. <laughs> uh, I meant you. Uh, folks like yourself. <clears throat> Fenril sent me. I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Fenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. Mm-hmm. Aveline? 
Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you, and your men. Hey! Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Ah, that wasn't so bad. Friendship from Aveline. I got your stuff. Here you go. As requested. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna level. Alright, let's go talk to Mother and Gamlin. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. Well, so to speak. The blight may still spread, but for now we have a new home. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us. <laughs> 